Need another drink. And these are all gins. And we got this apro right here. Hey Mike, what's an apro? It's an aperitif. It's an amaro. It's it's red. What does it taste like? Cocktail ingredient. It's like a orangey, citrusy, slightly bitter, a little bit of grapefruit. What can you make with it? You could do a spritz, apple spritz. Can you make you, me one? You have to pay me. You have to drink some of the gin. Well, finish a bottle. Okay. So, Aperol is an Amaro, which is an Italian classification of liqueur, um, which doesn't actually have very many strict guidelines on what an Amaro has to be because there are so many of them and most of them are all really, really good. One shot of Aperol goes in there. Uh, but what every Amaro has is sugar, water, bitters, and a base spirit. Do you remember what that is? It's, it's, an, old, it's an old fashioned. Every Amaro uh, is an old fashioned. Aperol in a is bottle. basically an old fashioned. Aperol is an old fashioned. Averna is old fashioned. Campari is an old fashioned. Uh, every, every Amaro is an old fashioned in a bottle. I'm That's putting a cocktail inside your cocktail. That's interesting. So which means this Afro Spritz is, should be a, a lot weaker drink, right? This one is definitely not like something so heavy, like an old fashioned. Contrary to popular belief, um, most drinks, <laughs> I probably should have measured that. Most drinks will have about the same amount of alcohol as uh, like a martini should have. About the same amount of alcohol as like a cosmopolitan or a Long Island or whatever, but that's not how it always ends up. I tried to use about three ounces of Prosecco, probably was closer to four. And then we'll use uh, an ounce of, yeah, sure, let's measure it, why not? So what's the ideal, like, proportion? For um, ideally, you wanna use like an ounce and a half of Aperol, three ounces of Prosecco, Actually, you could go three, two, one. So three ounces per seco, two ounces of Aperol, and just an ounce of uh, club soda or sparkling water. But since we're using all Italian ingredients, uh, we used the uh, Pellegrino. And then so do you, you stir just, it or anything? Well, you just build in glass. Um, you give it a quick stir, but it's nothing like stirring a martini or an old fashioned that is a longer process uh, because this is essentially a riff on a highball cocktail. A highball is just spirit and soda, essentially. Um, so anything that's like whiskey and soda, Jack and Coke, vodka soda, gin and tonic, those are all highballs. Like things that are two ingredient, on the rocks, something fizzy, that's a highball cocktail. And that's essentially what this is. We just changed, um, though, like let's call it a vodka soda, instead of vodka, we use Aperol and Prosecco, which neither of them are as strong of a spirit as vodka. So we use more of it. We're using five ounces of uh, Aperol and Prosecco combined compared to like just a shot of vodka topped with soda. And then let's garnish it with a little bit of grapefruit. And there you go. Aperol spritz. Thanks.